Meanwhile, a judge ruled to uphold the decision that disqualified two men from running in the Bibb County Sheriff's race. Ron Rogers and Marshall Hughes were disqualified by the Bibb County Board of Elections. The board said they failed to complete the necessary steps to run by the time limit required. They then appealed the Board of Elections ruling. Solene Arif was in Superior Court today. She joins us in studio to share more on the judge's decision today. That's right, Frank. For about an hour and a half, attorneys for Hughes, Rogers, and the county argued their cases before a judge. Immediately after, the judge thanked everybody for sharing their thoughts, but ultimately decided the Bibb County Board of Elections made the right decision in disqualifying the men. All right. As these two men waited to hear their fate, their attorneys were busy asking the judge to reverse Macon Bibb's decision for March. The decision of the Board of Elections was both clearly erroneous and arbitrary and capricious, uh, characterized or characterized by an abuse of discretion. Part of the reason the board disqualified Marshall Hughes and Ron Rogers was they didn't submit their fingerprints on time, even though they signed an oath saying they would. Macon Bibb's attorney argued they had no excuses to not know about the deadline. Both candidates acknowledged it's on the Secretary of State's website. It tells you all the, all the qualifications. He said a Board of Elections employee also emailed all candidates about it. One candidate said it went to spam. The other said they didn't see it. The attorneys argued that another candidate for sheriff, DeAndre Hall, got special treatment when he was in a similar position. They said an election board employee guided Hall to get his fingerprints done after Hall tried to submit the wrong form. The judge said that can't be compared to Hughes and Rogers' situation. I didn't hear anything to say that she just took him under her wing and said, don't you worry, Mr. Hall, I'll take you, I'll show you how this is done and we'll get it all done right. After the hearing, Ron Rogers said he's going to learn from his mistakes and run for sheriff again. And not just to wait until then, but whatever it is the incoming sheriff needs me to do, uh, there's a lot that has to be done. Marshall Hughes had no comment except to say he's going to explore his legal options on an appeal back to you. All right, thank you, Celine. That means unless they successfully appeal before the May 21st primary election, bib counters will choose from among four candidates for sheriff.